A dramatic splash of colour lurks behind Liverpool Street Station, creating a surprise and playful environment, something its designer, Camille Wallala, was keen to create. When I saw the place, I just saw I wanted to do something a bit like fun and, and bring an element of surprise for people who work around here. What I love about doing installation, like outdoor installation, is like it, be, it makes uh, design much more accessible and people might just come here by surprise and finally stay one, one hour or two. The textile designer was born in France but has lived in London for the past 20 years and says there's nowhere quite like it, especially when it comes to design. I absolutely love London. It's like, uh, it's like an eccentricity like you've got nowhere else. And I think, um, yeah, to be able to do something like this in London is pretty amazing. I think it's fantastic. There's nowhere else really in the UK where you can just walk down the street and see exciting things like this every day. I really, really like it. I think it's fun, it's playful. It looks like a bouncy castle, although we're, I guess, not really allowed to bounce off of it. Uh, but it's, it's what London needs, I think, at the moment. Not far away, four giant, colourful tiled gates are dominating Granary Square, drawing inspiration from some of London's tiled underground stations. I think people very often tend to think that ceramics are just something that you have on your bathroom floor or in the splashback in your kitchen. But actually, across countries, from Turkey to Iran to Italy to the United Kingdom, there is an incredible tradition for hundreds and hundreds of years of covering buildings in monumental ways, monumental architectures with ceramic products. This year celebrates the 15th London Design Festival, but the founder is concerned that Brexit could affect London's place as a hub of creative talent. We're worried. And we're worried because London's design community is very international. Most of our design styles don't have British passports, but they've chosen to live and work in our great city. And it's easy for them to go and work anywhere they like in the world. But for now, London is celebrating its dominance in a very bold way.